Hello everyone and welcome to a very special edition of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth Let's Play videos brought to you here by Raiden on Radio RYC Radio 1. Let's get started by looking at our stats. So you can see we are positive on our KDR ratio which is mom kills 8, death 7. So we are of course feeling incredibly good about this. So let's go ahead and begin a new run. And we'll be playing as Isaac this evening. Thank you for joining us. We'll go ahead and take a quick look at the seed here if you're interested. You can feel free to play along. And of course call in to the radio station for anything that you'd like to say to anyone. Actually don't do that. It'd be really annoying. Alright, so let's check out our item room. Taurus. So Taurus is an interesting item. It's one that basically gives you invincibility as soon as you walk into a room after a 5 second delay. So if we hang out here for a minute, we'll just walk about, and momentarily, any second now, oh look, he's turning red, he's getting angry, what's he gonna do? Come on now, where is it? Where is it? Oh, he's getting really fast, there it is, invincibility. So I'm sure that's something that's going to be incredibly useful over the course of the run. We have a tinted rock, so let's go ahead and blow this up. Thank you for exploding. We got two spirit hearts, which is quite helpful. And now we're going to be fighting our boss, which is Dingle. Dingle's quite a pain in the ass, if you ask me. But then, you're probably not asking. Oh god. You're probably watching. So we'll just focus on uh, not taking stupid damage, because stupid damage is the worst kind of damage that there is. And uh, we'll focus on dodging. We're gonna get invincibility in a moment, which is gonna be fantastic. All right, let's go ape shit. Die, you piece of fucking actual shit. All right, so that went out pretty well. We'll shoot the poop, and then we'll be moving on to the next floor. What did we, what was our item? What did we pick up? Oh, we got the screw, fantastic. We picked it up so quickly, it spawned right underneath our feet, which was incredibly disorienting. Right, so, moving on to the next floor, we've got basement 2, boss trap room, um, let's see what's here, we've got some flies, the purple flies I'm not a big fan of, you know, it, they really should be easier to deal with, but they're not, occasionally they take you by surprise. Alright, we'll take out these red flies, see what's in the chest, we've got some pills, Range up! Fantastic! Now all we need to do is hope that we find a bloody key somewhere. If we can find a key, we can get into our item room, obviously. If we can't, we're gonna be very sad. It's gonna be a very sad day. For all of us. Um, so if you're wondering at this point what's happened to my voice, the thing is, is that occasionally, when I've been playing games for quite some time, um. I get tired of doing an American accent, and I have to change it um, to something different. So if this is driving you absolute batshit, let me know in the comments. If you think it's hilarious, let me know in the comments. If no one's watching at all, then it doesn't matter, and we won't care about it. I'm really enjoying how Taurus not only gives us this eventual invincibility, it's also making us really fast, which is awesome. So it's an item with multiple benefits. Oh, let's go fight our boss. See if we can't get a deal with the devil. There's a tinted rock here, but we have no bombs. So we're just gonna fight off Monstro until we get our invincibility, and that should finish him off right quick. And you know, the hardest trouble with doing accents is trying to do it in a voice that's at least remotely consistent. Um, for instance, I want to keep changing uh, voices to some of my other British accents. But somehow I've kind of landed on this one. Oh, is that fucking brimstone? Fantastic! Yeah, we'll be taking that. Because it's brimstone. Haha! <laughs> Oh, that was just incredibly satisfying. 
Excellent. Let's take a look at our items really quick. So the range up is completely useless for us, but since we took this, we can get in here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Not at all. Oh, please drop a bomb. We got a key. So we can at least get into our item room, which is splendid. And uh, hopefully we'll get something that synergizes in an interesting way with Brimstone, because that's largely, you know, what you want to see when you pick up Brimstone. You want to see some interesting new effects. 2020, so is this going to make it twice as big? Nope. That's disappointing. Well, if we're lucky, maybe we can get uh, homing shots or um, any of the other number of items that synergize with Brimstone now. We'll see if we get lucky or not. We'll just keep exploring. We're in the catacombs now. Oh, flies that explode. We're low on basically every consumable, which is not good. It's not the end of the world. We've got a key so we can get into our item room now, which is... Oh god, that was bad. That's what happens when you walk into a room just as you're trying to readjust how you're sitting. Bloody office chairs, I tell you. Oh god, how did I miss all of them with brimstone? That's... Oh, that's just... Oh, that was terrible. I, apparently, I can't say terrible very well. I'll have to work on that. Oh, heavens. Alright, yeah, so I'm done with the accent now. That was, like, really much more difficult to do than I thought. Because, you know, not only do you have to simultaneously think about <laughs> what the hell you're going to say, but then you have to think about how you're going to say it, and that's just hollow. That's just terrible. Oh, that was a shitload of damage. I feel really good about that. Alright. Nah. More deals with the devil. Maybe we'll get a three soul hearts one. Nope, just book a sin. Not worth my last red heart, no sir. Experimental treatment. All stats up, then shuffled. Okay. I don't know if this is good or bad for us. Not really sure what our stats were before, so... Interesting item. I think that was the one that we unlocked on two runs ago? Maybe? I don't know, it's hard to say. Let's go ahead and check out this. We want an item that synergizes, please. Ow, really? Come on, man. Ten bombs. Very disappointing. <laughs> but, you know, we may as well check for secret rooms. Come on now. So yeah, I'll work on my British accent some some more with some live narrative. I think the one that I chose was just a little extra difficult for uh, what I was trying to do. We're gonna blow these up and try out this pill. Two pills. Thank you, mushrooms. Luck down. Not too awful. Amnesia. Also not awful. But sad we don't have better pills in the rotation. Now I want to say there was a tinted rock somewhere on this floor. I know there was one on the last floor. Was there one here? Now that we have plenty of bombs to spare. I don't know. Um... Not that interesting. So we have brimstone, man. That's pretty sweet. I'm enjoying the brimstone. It's gonna be really interesting to me if, like, I look at my YouTube statistics later and people stop watching the video as soon as I change accents, because that's gonna tell me that people want the British accent. When it's gone, you know, it's no- Ow! Dodging that like a pro. Parts I can't get, that's kind of disappointing. You know, but the thing about accents is that, you know, they're entertaining, but they're, they're quite difficult, and you, you constantly want to rely on things that are easy to say in that voice. Oh, we got our invincibility. Open up, open up. Ah, oh, so much damage on this room. I hate the walking skull kids. They are probably my least favorite new boss, or new mob. They're just wicked annoying, like the stationary ones in Vanilla 
were terrible to begin with. Adding movement to them is very unpleasant. Not a big fan. So let's hope that we get a key here. We have an arcade. Oh, cool. Key. Yeah, we are just getting like the worst pills ever. Let's, uh. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out. I want to blow you up, because it feels right. What is that? Mysterious candy. Uh-oh. Does this make this pay out every time? <laughs> what is going on? I wonder if it makes consumables do something strange. Oh, does it make a, does it make us fart randomly? Because that would be hilarious. I do like this whole like bendy effect with brimstone when you move around. That's a really nice uh, visual touch. Doctor's remote, not worth it. Oh my goodness! Well, not much we could do there. I hope we run into our boss soon. I hope he gives us some HP. Because as much as this brimstone is making life easy, it's also uh. I'm starting to get a little worried about our HP situation. Butt bombs. Okay. I guess the candy is making us poop randomly too. It's kind of unpleasant. That went pretty well. High Priestess. Mm, yeah, okay. We'll use it on this boss fight. Because why not? See who we get. Somebody jumpy chub. Alright. That went pretty well. We got pentagram, which is good. Take the luck down, because why not? Ooh, red chest. This is actually a pretty good result. Let's hope it's not just trolls and spiders. Alright. Okay, so so far we got a troll and a spider. Let's get something good in this one. Nope, just more trolls. Not cool, man. Alright, did we get everything? Meh. I don't know. I don't feel like exploring. At this point I'm just like, please just let me survive until... <laughs> until the end of this. I just wanna... I just want another win, man. I'm just... don't be too hard. Don't be too hard on me. Just give me the win! Oh, golden key is very welcome. Let's blow up these fire- oh! What? Did the purple thing shoot? I guess the purple fire shoot. And it took a whole soul heart. Oh, cool! Okay, so if you have not seen this before, you are in for a treat. These things are really fun. Because they get all two-dimensional. Okay, so the item was crap. Actually, you know what? Let's go get the item anyway. Because we don't have a spacebar item. We may as well. But, like, just the fact that they thought about, like, putting something like this in the game, just, you know, more, uh... more tributes to The Legend of Zelda. Because I'm pretty sure those were rooms in uh, The Legend of Zelda 2. Think. I'm not 100% sure. But that's what that's what it feels like. Alright, let's blow up this rock so we can get whatever this is. Two of clubs. So now we have a shit, shit ton of bombs. I'm sorry I'm swearing a lot. One of these days I'm gonna decide not to swear anymore. My videos for that day has not yet come. Awesome, secret room. Mmm, we'll just blow it up. No, 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 no! Ugh. Oh, man. Well, we got in the item room for free. Blood of the Martyr, damage up. Very nice. Very welcome. We should be able to, like, one-shot things now. <coughs> and if I can stop taking bad damage, I'll be much happier. I'm actually kind of interested to see what these, you know, the poop bombs seem to be making some sort of purple haze, or poop haze. Rather, not a Jimi Hendrix song, but, you know, something else entirely. Um, seems to be making, like, 
some sort of haze thing. So we're going to use one of these on the boss and see what it actually does. Alright, this guy is not pleasant. They're actually not doing as much damage as I had hoped. You know, I was exp maybe this guy is just really, really tanky. So I guess it's it concusses concussive shots then, maybe. It kind of seems like what it's doing. It'd be really nice if whoa, if uh, we had this like combined with uh, homing bombs or something to make all these bombs more useful. Speed up is not the greatest. I'm starting to get a little worried. I feel like we need to explore this floor in efforts to potentially get something. Let's see what's in the side room. Greed. Alright. That's interesting. Is there some sort of combination between when I use the hourglass and how quickly I get invincibility from Taurus? That would be interesting. There was some sort of like combo related to using a spacebar item. I didn't even think about Oh, okay. Hmm. These are not the kind of rooms that I was hoping for. Some of the rooms that would just, you know, like give me free items or have tinted rocks. Tinted rocks would actually be like the best thing that we could possibly find at this point. Let's look for our secret room, because why not? Worth a shot. And I'm actually finding it a lot harder to identify secret, or not secret rooms, but oh god, man, that's painful. Um, finding it to be much harder identifying secret rooms, not secret rooms, god, I can't even pay attention to what I'm saying because I'm trying so hard not to die. Um, identifying tinted rocks. Like, it seems like the con, like, is this a tinted rock? I don't know, it could be. It's really hard to tell. Um, sometimes, when you're, you know, it's like the level of contrast isn't as high as I would like it to be. You know, everybody knows they're in the game. Why not make it a little easier? I'm gonna blow these skulls up, because sometimes I give evil hearts and other stuff. What is this? Two diamonds. Alright, so we're rich. We're very, very rich, but we're very, very low on HP. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. What's in here? Oh, why can't there just be an HP upgrade? Alright, so we have to play the hell out of this because I'm too afraid to go on without... <clears throat> without more bad trip. Come oh. And that blew up right away, so there goes our fast money. Very, very frustrating. So now we're two hits away from death. Alright, I, I don't even know if I can handle doing this. We'll play you once. Why not? Oh man. Alright, maybe we'll get some sort of magical item that'll let us live forever when we get to, uh... When we get to our item room. That would be... Fantastic. Even if we got the compass, I feel like there would be some hope. What? No, no, no. I do not like this room one bit. At least Brimstone's doing, doing work for us. I mean, it's not the greatest damage in the world, but it is pretty good. Is that all of them? Yes, it is. Okay. Check down here. Boss room. Okay. So do we go do the boss? I think we go do the boss, instead of looking for the item room. Oh, it's Mom. How is it Mom? I thought we were on depth one. Oh boy, this is... I'm not happy about this. This is not the scenario I wanted to be in. At least we're fast. I wonder if we can get Taurus twice. That would be really cool. Alright, so we're okay. Evil up. 
We could go to our... Do we go to the boss room? I think we go to the boss room. Because at this point we need... Okay, so there's Rosary. We can get three Spirit Hearts. But we'd probably lose all that in a fight. I don't really know what these other items are. Or what they do. But this one where the, everything's on fire, that looks pretty cool. So we're going to take that. We took damage instantly. But because we have Brimstone, like potentially... We might be able to make it through this. I really wanted to record this on the last video anyway. So, whoa my god. Yeah, so apparently we're setting things on fire with our brimstone. Which is pretty sweet. I don't know where other guy went. It would be really... N oh, Spirit Heart, thank you. I'll take that. So yeah, basically, if you haven't seen this room before, it's essentially uh, waves and waves of bosses that you fight. I think it's something like 10 waves. You fight a lot of bosses. We're not as powerful as I would like to be, but if we don't get two items from this, if we weren't going to get two items, I feel like we wouldn't have been powerful enough to make it through the womb. So what I'm going to hope is, because these bosses drop hearts, that we can get through this. And then come out the other side with a lot more power. So it looks like these bosses are having a hard time jumping over the rocks, which is very, very welcome to... Oh boy, that was bad. I guess Loki's on the other side, hanging out, being awful. Yep, Loki. Trying to concentrate here. I know, I know everybody's like, man, why you gotta stop talking? Are you some kind of scrublet or what? And the answer is yes. Like, I, <laughs> this is not the time for me to be having a. We unlock the cellar. I don't even know why we unlock the cellar. Is that like related to like number of bosses fought or something along those lines? I don't know. Oh, chub. Wow, these monsters are jumping all over the damn screen. At least our brimstone's going full range. That is... Whoa, that was close. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't got hit again since that first, uh, first mess up. We have an eternal heart here. So, like, that's a really good example of what I was talking about, where this... It's worth the risk for this if you can pull it off. And Brimstone is just a really good item for fighting in, you know, this like oversized room just because of the fact that it can travel all over the damn screen, making this much easier. All right, Gertie, it's time for you to go. Monster 2, don't like it. Oh, and we got Gish. Oh god, you have Brimstone 2. Not cool, man. Spirit Heart, thank you. So I guess we'll try to stay, like, not in the direction of travel for uh, him to be shooting Brimstone at us, which basically means we gotta stay vertical. Vertical to him. Alright, so he's gone. That's good. I was not... Well, that's the other thing. The They spawn left and right. So you gotta be, like, pretty careful about where you stand. Oh! I don't want to pick up that Eternal Heart! Oh, that was beautiful. Look at that coordination. So beautiful. Oh, the mask! I hate the mask! Oh, and the bloat? Yeah, not cool. Or a green... green peep? Oh, this is getting a little chaotic. Oh, yep, it's the bloat. Oh, God. Oh, boy. So now we gotta be really careful, because this champion bloat... Oh, thank goodness. Can't believe we killed him. That could have been, like, the end of us right there. Brimstone is making this mask really easy. I hope this is the last wave. Please, please be the last wave. Oh, we got a spirit heart, so... That's something, at least. We're fighting two horsemen, so it could be a lot 
lot worse. Where are you? There you are. What's up, buddy? Let's do this thing. Man, this is like so... It feels like uh, playing this room... Oh, those guys. No, no. Oh, we got Conquest over here? Is that who this is? Super Death. Something. Conquest? I don't know who this is, but I do not like him at all. He needs to just die already. Yeah, playing this makes me feel like, uh, like it's the arcades, you know? It's got that kind of arcade feeling. So I think we figured out that, um, the Taurus only works once a room, otherwise it would have popped. Uh, over and over again. We got the Fallen here. I don't even remember what half of these half of these bosses are called. Oh, I forgot about Brimstone. I forgot that you had that. Oh God. So Brimstone plus Technology two. Does it do anything? No, of course it doesn't. Ugh. Well, we have an Evil Heart and an Eternal Heart. So just the HP alone, I think puts us in a better position than we were in. What did we pick up? We picked up Flaming Shot, so I guess there's a little bit of extra DPS there. Ugh, and that's nerve-wracking doing that. Ugh, I feel like I, I just need to take a beat. All right, so, I'm starting to feel a little skeptical about our chances here. I mean, our damage is good, but <laughs> Any single mistake and stuff like that happens. So, I'm not feeling too optimistic. You know, I know that's not what you want to hear at this point. I'm sure what you want is like a... Oh man, that's just brutal. I'm sure at this point what you want is, you know, a clutch victory. Maybe we might be able to eke one out. You know, maybe. Broken Ankh? I'll take it. Because, you know, if it, even if it just gives us a chance, it's better than nothing. Man, those were some close dodges. Oh, yeah. Hey, buds. I'm invincible. Forgot about that. I feel like I would have preferred technology over Brimstone. I'm much more of a technology kind of guy. <laughs> like I've said in the past, charge shots aren't really my thing. Brimstone's kind of an exception, because I still enjoy it. But, what's in here? Nothing too exciting? Alright, well the good news is that Brimstone does make uh, fights against horsemen easier, and I have a feeling that we're going to be fighting, you know, Conquest or Death or something generally terrible. Wow, that makes us really fast now. <laughs> Bad trip. Yeah. Okay, let's just keep playing cautiously. You know, we're gonna keep trying these things out. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a close one. <sighs> we do manage to pull this off. I will be very pleased with myself. I feel like I will have danced with death this entire time and somehow made it on the other side. Okay, boss has gotta be nearby. It's gotta be. It's gotta be like two rooms away. That's my guess. Two rooms. Let's just focus here. Not a problem. Okay, we'll take a beat for Taurus. Really wish we could use these bombs more effectively, but I'm really just afraid of blowing myself up. Oh! Really hit me twice? God, these spiders are dicks. All right, let's do our best. Mr. Fred. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Okay. Can we just sit here and like snipe him from a distance, maybe? Is that a doable thing? Don't have to deal with the creep? I hope so, because when we're hit, we're goners. 
But at this range, it seems like you can't really do much. Brimstone made it so that we could totally avoid everything else. Oh, please tell me that the halo gives me HP. Oh, it does not. Oh, wait, it does. Sweet. Now, if I remember, Bad Trip used to do a thing where if you were down to one heart, it would refill your hearts, I think. Oh, I don't even know how I dodged that. Okay. So we're at full health. Let's just do our best. If we can get to mom, I'm confident that we can take care of mom. I'm not too worried about... Or not mom. If we can get to the heart. I'm not too worried about the actual heart itself. You know, if... It's just a matter of getting there is the trouble. I'm gonna open these because... Oh, I probably shouldn't have opened that one. I'm gonna open this one too, because if there's a spirit heart in here, it's worth all that expenditure. There's not. Let's check in here. Ooh, Tammy's head. So is that gonna do... Oh god, it does. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. This is really good. We might have... A much better shot at this now. Just by virtue of the fact that if we get into some kind of crazy room, we can take care of it almost instantly. Alright. Let's make this happen. See? Like, I totally would have gotten hit twice there. But Tammy's head is gonna be doing some work for us. Oh my goodness. Tammy's head is so good now that it synergizes with everything. So this is great. <laughs> this went from me being completely worried to me being not worried at all. We're gonna hang on to this ink because I'm still afraid that we might die. <laughs> oh my goodness. And it recharges every single room. Alright, so that was pin. Alright, that was good. Oh man, this is... Whoa! Look at that! That is just crazy! Alright, so let's walk in here and win! We're still gonna try to play smart. We're gonna save Tammy's head for, like, the end. When things get really crazy. You know, when things get beyond, beyond normal. But I think we're going to be able to pull this off. Which I'm very excited about. Because I thought for a while there that we were out of hope. Alright, oh, two points of damage. Okay. Oh god, the craziness has started. Alright, there we go. And we made it. Alright, let's watch our ending. Sweetness. We've got a doctor. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so thank you everybody for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. I know that was an awesome, awesome Tammy's head appearance at the very end that pretty much saved her hide. So, you know, show some love for Tammy's head. And, you know, like the video or whatever. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So, Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.